Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. It's Brian Simmons here with EXP Realty. Uh, September 29th, definitely feeling like fall out there now. It's a little bit of fog and drizzly weather, so that's kind of a nice little development, cooling down. Uh, but quick market update for you today. Jackson and Josephine counties is what we're looking at here, single-family residential homes. Uh, we have 832 active single-family residential homes on the market right now. Uh, so just up a little bit from last week, nothing really noteworthy there. Um, 138 new listings did hit the market. That's well above our six week average. Uh, and, and we have been uh, well above that average for the last two weeks. So that's been kind of interesting to see. Uh, uh, 39 of those um, went pending or closed in the same week. Uh, one of which was mine, which is awesome. 146 total pending in the last seven days, which is also above our six week average. Uh, but only 93 closes last week, which was uh, which was low, quite a bit low, uh, compared to to prior weeks, and um, and so you know that, that it's not really too abnormal, um, I guess, given that we're kind of close to the end of the month, but not quite there. What what we see generally happen when people agents are writing offers is we, uh, if it's close to the end of the month, we'll usually bump it towards the end of the month um, for whatever reason. It's just kind of how it goes. <laughs> Um, so I suspect that's going to probably be a bigger number next week um, when we're when we're looking back at this week. So because the end of the month is what two days from now, so uh, tomorrow. So, anyways, um, interesting interesting data. Um, I think what you know my take would be uh, from from all of that is that we're seeing good activity on both sides, uh, good listing activity. Um, we're twelve percent above our six week average. In new listings um, and good buyer activity, we're we're 18 percent above um, our, our six-week average in terms of pending sales. So, good activity on both sides. Um, we'll just kind of see how things continue to develop as we get into uh, the spring or sorry the winter and kind of off of this like uh, transition period of between summer and fall. Uh, just kind of a weird time, really. <clears throat> but um, I told you guys last week about a really cool place that I had listed. Uh, in Grants Pass, built in 1900, is really cool place in Grants Pass uh, that was hitting the market 325. That sold in a day. Um, and the week before, I told you about another one in Grants Pass at 350. That also sold in. I think that one was maybe two days. <laughs> so the market's still great for selling. Um, still really, really good for selling. Uh, but you just have to price it appropriately. So that's um, that's good stuff. Good to see. Um, it's also still great for buyers because we're starting to see more and more in inventory. I mean, 832 is it's more than what I thought we were going to see. Um, so, so more to choose from and prices aren't continuing to go crazy. And so the, the chief economist at the National Association of Realtors, um, he characterized it as rising inventory and moderating price conditions are bringing buyers back to the market. Um, and we're seeing that. And we're seeing that, you know, in our own market here and he's looking more nationally, but we're definitely seeing that same thing here locally so uh so anyways everything's looking good in the market that's a quick update for you make sure to check out the actual newsletter though so you can see my favorite listings uh see what kind of uh properties i have buyers looking for um take a look at all that and uh don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel uh so have a great rest of your wednesday and we will see you next week